Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valentine BB Show. We talked about Earth Day recently. We talked about that a lot. So I've got an expert, Sheila Bonini. She's here to talk about the whole month of Earth Month. And she wants to give us information on washing your laundry in cold water, how it can help fight climate change, or pr- and prolong the life of your clothes. Sheila Bonini, welcome to the Valder BB Show. Thank you so much for having me. All right. We want to always still save money, but how can we save the planet uh, um, and continue this past, you know, Earth Day or Earth Month? It's a great question, um, and it's so important right now. I mean, we're seeing the increased frequency of natural disasters like wildfires and hurricanes, so we all need to do our part. And the good news is there's lots of small things you can do in your home to save energy. Uh, Some things people are familiar with, like turning out the lights when they're not using them or maybe turning down the thermostat, and other things that um, people may be less familiar with, like washing in cold water. Um, And we found that, in fact, six out of seven Americans uh, make a conscious effort to turn out the lights when they uh, leave a room. But only 0.5%, that's half a percent of Americans, think of washing in cold water as an eco-habit that can you know, help them save the planet. So uh, that's, a, that's a real shame because actually switching to cold, um, if you switch one load of laundry, you save 90% of the energy usage in that load of laundry. And that is equivalent to powering the average American home for an hour. So switching from cold to um, from hot to cold, you can power your whole house for an hour. And if you think about it, there are 25 billion loads of laundry that we wash each year here in the U.S. It's really a big impact. Uh, so we're partnering with Tide um, to help switch three out of four loads of laundry washed per year, or excuse me, three out of four per, um, per washing uh, in the U.S. by 2030. And, you know, if you get that much uh, switch, the uh, impact is equivalent to powering the energy that are required to power all of New York City and San Francisco for more than a year. So you can see how a small eco-habit, a behavior change, of going from hot to cold can really have a big impact when you add it up, a big impact for the planet. Tell me about this uh, survey between WWF and Tide Foundation. Yeah, so we found that three out of four Americans are really interested in helping. They want to do something in the home that will uh, help them save energy. And uh, in our partnership with Tide, what we're doing is we're going to research customer consumer behavior and try to understand kind of what their eco habits are but also try to understand um, what might be some of the barriers that people have to washing in cold water because we know this is great it saves energy um, but you know why why might people not want to wash in cold water that's um, part of the research that we're going to be doing Well, this sounds like a win-win for the planet, for our wallet, and our our clothes, because I can tell you from experience, washing cold water, it's good. It's good for the planet, and it's good for your clothes. It gives your clothes a longer life. Where can my audience go for more information about washing in cold water? Because I think it's just a mind thing, part of it. We've been indoctrinated to hot water, you know. So how do, is there a place on my line where people can read and say like, oh, I never thought of that. 
Yeah, no, you're right. It is. It's partly awareness. We think that people might not be aware that this saves energy, but it's also perception. Some folks think that it might not get clean washing in uh, cold water. And luckily, today's laundry detergents are designed to wash in cold water. So as you said, it's a win-win. You save money, about $150 of energy savings uh, per year, and your clothes last longer, and you're saving, um, you know, helping save the planet. Uh, if you want to find out more about sustainable living tips, you can go to our website, worldwildlife.org, or more about your laundry needs on tide.com. I want to thank you for bringing this to our mind. And once again, if you can give me a tip, how can people do this past, you know, Earth Month? And this is the only home we have, so they need to think about these things every day. You got any tips for them? Uh, yeah, we do need to think about these things every day. And there's lots of things you can do, like washing in cold water, which is really terrific. And you can do your part to help save the planet. All right. You can just be a conscious resident on this planet. I want to thank you so much, Sheila. Thank you so much for talking about this. We just need to talk about it a lot more. And I know people can change their perception of how to wash and how to live on the planet. Thanks for being my guest on the Velvet BB Show. Thank you so much. I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.